Hi, I'm Rick Christofferson of RTS Engineering, developer of the multi-position guide stop for the Festool Domino Joiner. Today I'd like to show you how to build a drawer box using the multi-position guide stop, the Festool Domino Joiner, the new 4mm domino tenons and the domino cutter. We'll also be using the TS55 guided saw, the parallel guides to attach to our guide rails, We'll be using the MFK 700 trim router along with a 7mm solid carbide dado bit and a roundover bit. And we're also going to be using the new Festool Vaxis vacuum clamping system. Now, typical drawer, drawer construction consists of a drawer box and a separate drawer front that we attach after installation so we can align our drawer front to the adjacent drawers and doors of the cabinet. The drawer box consists of the drawer sides and the front and rear where our drawer sides are a little bit taller than our front and rear so that we can put a profile on the edges and not have an interference in the corner. Our drawer bottom is dadoed in to the sides using the 7 millimeter cutter to match the thickness of our material. So why don't we begin? Okay, so the first cut we're going to make is to rip the entire sheet at 130 millimeters. We set the uh, stops on the parallel guide to 130, slide it into position, and we're ready to cut. The next thing that we're going to do is make a rough cross cut on our drawer stock into two pieces so that we have one piece for the sides and one piece for the front and rear because we'll need to re-rip the front and rear to be a little bit narrower than the sides are. Because the front and rear of our drawer box is not as tall as the sides, we need to re-rip our stock here to be a quarter of an inch narrower than the side material. And we'll do that using TS55 saw. So now we have our rough stock for the drawer front and rear and our rough stock for the sides. We can now cut them to length. Okay, the next step that we have to take is to route a dado into the bottom edge of all of the drawer material to accept the bottom of the drawer. And I'm using a white melamine coated particle board. It's a little bit thicker than a quarter of an inch. So I picked up a seven millimeter solid carbide router bit from Festool. And we'll mount that in our MFK 700 router. Install the router into the base. And I want to set the depth of the cut to be about 3 16 And then we will use the auxiliary fence to control the position of the router against the workpiece. piece. 
and I want to set the distance between the fence and the center of the router bit to be a half an inch. Lock that down. And I'm going to use the uh, Festival Vaxis to hold our workpiece. We'll install the uh, narrow head. Turn our pump on. Now because the router is rotating clockwise, it's cutting across this way and it wants to pull the router the opposite way. So you want to make sure that you're routing in this direction so that the router gets pulled into the workpiece. If you came in this direction, it would pull the router away and you'd have a wavy cut. I've got the speed of the router set to medium. You don't want to have a high speed when you're plowing a dado uh, because it'll build up heat and that's bad for the router bit. And we'll just go through and route all of our pieces. We're ready to begin dominoing our drawer material. First thing that you want to do before any project with Domino is check all of your settings. We're going to be using the new 4mm Domino cutter and the 4mm Dominoes. If you are using the 5mm cutter, your settings will be a little bit different and your manual will explain what those should be. In order to get a plunge depth of 10mm at the cutter so we don't penetrate our stock, I have Domino set to the 20 millimeter range on plunge depth. My fence is set to 6 millimeters high, which is half the thickness of our drawer stock. And I'm using the multi-position guide stop with the guide stops set at one and a quarter inches from the edge. The multi-position guide features adjustable and retractable stop arms that are used to position the domino joiner against the edge of your workpiece. Each stop arm also features a threaded hole to insert a spacer screw should you ever need stop positions closer than 3 8 of an inch. With the spacer screw installed, stop positions can be as close as 70 thousandths of an inch. The centering plates on the back of the guide align with the edge of your domino machine so that it can be reinstalled and always be back into the same position without needing to recalibrate anything. For our drawer project, we need to use two pair of stop arms. The main stop arm is set at an inch and a quarter, and the second stop arm that we use for our drawer sides is set at an inch and a half. To adjust the position of our stop arms, take two blocks of wood, Hold them flush at one end and then scribe two pencil lines across both blocks. This one is at an inch and a quarter, this is at an inch and a half. We use one block for the right stop arms, 